Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today's video explores an intriguing experiment that delves into the factor affecting the resistance in a wire. This thought-provoking video is an original creation of Cambridge Assessment Education. The resistance in a circuit changes due to factors like the length and thickness of the wire used. It is the effects of these changes which are going to be investigated. To measure how the resistance in a wire changes, the current which is measured in amperes and the potential difference which is measured in volt should be recorded. Wires are used to connect the voltmeter and emitter to the power supply. It is important to only change one variable at a time. The first of these will be the wire length. A 110 cm length of 0.32 mm copper nickel wire is measured and cut. The wire is attached to the meter rule using tape. It should be straight with no twists, knots or bends. One crocodile clip is connected to the wire at the 0 cm point on the ruler. The final connection in the circuit is made by attaching the second crocodile clip to the wire at the 10 cm mark. By doing this, the wire in the circuit is effectively 10 cm long. Before the circuit is switched on, check carefully that it is set up as shown in the diagram. Make sure a results table is ready to record the data. After tuning on the power, the readings from the ammeter and voltmeter should be recorded. The crocodile clip is now moved from the 10 cm to the 30 cm point. The levels on the ammeter and voltmeter are recorded. The crocodile clip is moved again to the 50 cm mark and the readings are noted. Data should be collected as the crocodile clip is moved along the wire in 20 cm increments. The resistance of each length of wire can be calculated using the equation resistance R equals the potential difference V divided by the current I. The results table is completed using the calculated resistance for each length of wire. Now all of the data has been collected a graph of the results can be drawn. The independent variable which is wire length is plotted on the x axis and the independent variable the resistance on the y axis. Each axis is labeled and the units evenly spaced so that they make the best use of the space. The data is plotted by using a small cross for each point. A straight line of best fit should be drawn on the graph. The line should pass through the origin. Other variables can now be changed to see how these may affect the resistance in the wire. This time the material being used has been changed to copper but the wire thickness is the same. Wires of different thicknesses or other types of metal for example steel could be used. The additional data is plotted on the graph so that the factors that affect the resistance of the wire can be compared. Each line is labeled so they can be identified. The graph shows that the relationship between wire length and resistance is directly proportional. The ability of a wire to conduct charge with the least resistance is an important consideration. However, the best conductors are often the most expensive and as material heat up their resistance increases so i think it's enough for today so thank you very much for listening and watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope this video is useful for you so take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question query suggestion and even classes are required take care of yourself meanwhile see you in the next video goodbye